Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's Daryl Coster, otherwise known as That Bad Dad. Recently, a friend gave me an old saw blade he had had in his house he wasn't using anymore. I was wondering what to do with it. I thought it would look really neat as a clock that hung on my shop wall in my wood shop. After doing the design and Illustrator, I brought it over to Lightburn to start burning on the laser. One of the things we had to do first was clean up the blade. It had old paint on it, oil, grease, and some heavy marks from use. So you'll see in the graph on the bottom left hand side are actual cut settings in Lightburn for the first pass. It has a speed of 2000, a max power of 50, a frequency of 70, a Q pulse of 200. We use pretty much standard Q pulses of 200 for most of this. Um, a line interval of one. It does a really great job at ablating the top surface, removing all the oil, the rust that would be on there, any heavy duty work marks that would be there, light, sorry, light work marks that would be there, and it makes a really clean surface to start lasering on. When we receive a product off somebody that they would like us to engrave for them or mark for them, we try and do as much testing as we can with that metal. Sometimes we've done it in the past and it's really easy just to put new marks on there. Other times we need to do testing on the product. Uh, as you can see from the picture in the video, we do a lot of testing on these. Once we were done, we ran the cleaning pass on this again, probably eight to 10 times. It ablated the complete surface. We had nothing left on it and we're starting with a brand new metal saw at that point. Today we're using an SFX laser, 60 watt. It's a JPT M7 MOPA. It has a 220 by 220 millimeter lens on it. For the second part of the saw, we did an annealing pass. Uh, it has a speed of 330, a power of 28%, a frequency of 190 kilohertz, a Q pulse of 200 nanoseconds, a crosshatch with a 0 0.025 line interval. Uh, we have a scan angle of 45 degrees with a number of passes of one. This is absolutely the longest part of this whole process. It takes about an hour and 20 minutes to anneal this entire saw. It's a big saw. The final pass for this saw, you don't see the entire thing here. We did two passes on it. We only really needed to do one pass. It would have made the letters really a nice color of white for the entire thing, but we were in the middle of it and we couldn't stop it. The speed was 750, the power is 23%, a frequency of 45 with a Q pulse of 200 nanoseconds. The line interval was 0 0.025 um, with a scan angle of 45 degrees. We also had the cross hatch in there, which made it actually four passes of this. We could have taken that off and just done one single line up the screen and it would have turned out absolutely fantastic. We ran with it all the way through, didn't want to stop it in the middle. 
and we just cleaned it up. It looks really good. It turns out it's a really nice gold color on that with that black. By the time we were done marking this entire blade, it took about two hours and 20 minutes. We could probably knock that down by about an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. By not doing as many passes, especially on the cleaning pass, there was a lot on there we did extra. And on the final pass, we didn't actually need to do that cross hatch plus the two passes. We could have just done no cross hatch and one single line up the screen. It would have turned the text a beautiful white. Either way, we're really happy with the end result. We're waiting for the clock pieces to come in from Amazon. Once that's done, we'll have a fully functioning clock and I'm gonna hang it up in my wood shop out in the backyard. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe. We really do appreciate the time you spend watching this and listening to me talk. This is the end product. The saw blade turned out really nice. The black on it is very glossy and the light gold lettering turned out better than I thought it was going to. Wished it had been white, but gold will do. Oh, we're just waiting for the clock parts to come in now. Have a great evening.